Hello and welcome to Bro Jewel. This time we're back with some more Skyrim mods. Game of Thrones, or more specifically the Seven Kingdoms of Westeros, share some key features with the world of Skyrim. Both have warring factions fighting over a throne. They also have knights and lords, dragons, and plenty of magic. Where the White Walkers awaken beyond the wall, the Draugr also raise from their tombs. The similarities are almost endless. Skyrim even has its very own Red Woman. So we thought to mark the return of one of our favourite series, why not take a look at some of the Game of Thrones inspired mods for Skyrim? Keep in mind that not all of these mods are practical, and we don't really recommend you install any of them for a genuine playthrough, apart from maybe the armours and weapons, so that's what we'll start with. The Game of Thrones armour compilation adds a total of 20 new armours and 7 new weapons to the game. Most of these belong to the more iconic characters from the show, so despite there being some minor differences in design, you should be able to instantly recognise some of them. Whether you're sporting Brienne of Tarth's mighty armour, or choosing between one of the two Clegane Brothers sets, the armour's fitting well all things considered. Of course it deviates from vanilla, as you'd expect, but they'll fit in perfectly if you're building a medieval inspired Skyrim. On top of character sets, you'll also be able to get your hands on some of the generic armours too, like the guard armours from the major houses. You'll probably recognise the Lannister and Stark sets the most, but there's a couple of others to get your hands on. Most of the sets can also be enhanced further with the Cloaks of Skyrim mod. The Stark armours in particular, like Jon Snow or Rob Stark, can really benefit from the addition of a thick fur cloak. The only thing left is the weapons. The mod only adds a few of the more recognisable weapons from the show and books. These include the Valerian Steel Swords, Ice, Longclaw and Oathkeeper, as well as the Curved Sword, Arrak, used by the Dothraki Warriors. We like the Dothraki weapon, but the Valerian Steel Swords seem to be lacking that extra special edge. If you're thinking the same, then the best thing to do is install a separate mod for each weapon. You can find some fantastic Ice and Longclaw Swords on the Nexus, that come with high quality models and textures that really help them stand out. These are great looking weapons on their own, and even if you've never watched a show or read any of the books, you can still appreciate what the mods offer. By searching around you can also find several other iconic weapons, like Robert Baratheon's Warhammer, or Arya's Needle, so you can stick them with the pointy end. Or maybe you'd prefer to show your support for a particular house by using a marked shield. There's several mods that add house shields to Skyrim, so again it'll just come down to which one looks right for you. Some are more flashy than others, but we prefer the more simplistic style that you can see on screen now. We'll include links for all of the separate armour and weapon mods we found down below, so you can pick and choose whatever's right for you. While showcasing the armours, you may have noticed that the models resembled their characters on the show. That wasn't actually done by us, but in fact the author of the armour compilation has made another mod for followers. This mod adds over 35 followers to the game, and scatters them evenly all over Skyrim. Almost any character you'd want as a companion can be found, from the cunning Salsword Bronn to the savage Karl Drogo. And of course, all of the family members from the main houses. Most of them will make use of the armours from earlier if they have one, but any that don't will use any suitable armour from the vanilla game. Unfortunately the mod doesn't offer much more than their appearance. They all behave the same and use generic dialogue. However you can spice things up a bit with an optional plugin that also adds the Stark's direwolves as followers, allowing you to switch things up with an animal companion. For something more detailed you have to delve deeper into the available mods. One Daenerys follower in particular caught our eye, and not just because of her unique appearance. The mod is called the Mother of Dragons, and with good reason. She comes with a unique ability that when she's in danger, she calls for her dragons. Where are my dragons. When outdoors, she'll summon her three adolescent dragons to the skies, but when indoors, she'll summon them in baby form, so they take up less space and stay grounded. They're smaller than the average Skyrim dragon and deal much less damage, but they'll protect their mother at any cost. When interacting with her as a follower, she uses a generic voice, but her shouting ability comes with the iconic Where Are My Dragons soundbite from the show, which was fun to hear her scream after a minor scuffle with a mod crab. And just before we wrap up, we couldn't do a Game of Thrones episode without mentioning the Adaption mod. This is the biggest Game of Thrones mod available right now, but it's certainly not finished and definitely never will be. But having said that, it still might be worth trying out. The mod converts and replaces the major cities of Skyrim with those found in Westeros. It then replaces the NPCs of those cities with the characters that live in them on the show. In some cases the mod also builds on these cities to include famous landmarks, and will retexture them if necessary to follow the correct theme. It also adds some extra tidbits like the Iron Throne and dozens of new armour sets and house sigils scattered all over the place. If you want a single Game of Thrones mod installed for a bit of fun exploration, then this is definitely the one to pick up. If you're interested in any of the mods shown in the video, then again you can find all of them down below. As always be sure to leave endorsements on any mod you enjoy, if you're interested in picking up a new game to play, then buy the old gods and the new, I swear that the code MODS will get you 3% off at G2A.com. And as always, thanks for watching.